good morning student today in this video i will teach you how to write a short story what are the elements that make a good story and what is the structure of the story so as the day has beginning middle and end in the same way a story also has a beginning middle and end so let's see what are the main element of a story so there are basically five elements that makes a good story okay the first is setting second is character third is problem fourth is event and the last is solution okay so what is setting setting is the time and the place of the story it simply shows where and when the story took place okay so the story may take place in a village it may take place in a forest so this is called the setting of the story the next comes character as i told you that the various types of characters basically it may be a man it may be an animal or it may be an imaginary character like giant monster okay fairy so they are called character because they play a very good role in the story the next is problem yes this is also called conflict the hero and the protagonist of the story faces some problem okay next comes event event means what something happens okay it makes the story very interesting so there may be one event in the story there may be two events in the story so finally uh, uh, many events can be in the story and finally the story comes to a beautiful solution beautiful end because the problem which was created by other character is solved toward the ends of the story okay that is called solution so let's understand the structure and the elements of story with the help of a famous story named a kulfi for free so let's start the story the name of the story is a kulfi for free and the story is all about a girl whose name was bhavri bhavri is the main character in the story she is the protagonist and she is very simple very intelligent and very caring girl because she loves all her family members so let's start the story tick tick tock bhavri stares at the clock she drills the ceiling with her eyes a thom 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 her feet cry so in the beginning of the story we see that bhavri was waiting for kulfi wala the sound tick tick tock simply indicates to our clock okay that means she was continuously looking at the clock that day kulfi wala was late okay she drills the ceiling with her eyes here drills means she was rolling her eyes okay continuously she was looking at the ceiling and thom 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 her feet cry she was tired of waiting she was just stamping her feet because that particular day kulfi kaka was quite late trin 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 the street calls out bhauri runs with her little pouch so finally she hears the pleasant sound of bell trin trin okay that means that the kulfi wala has come so she feels greatly delighted and she runs towards the kulfi wala so now the story goes upward now how many would you like today child kulfi kaka has a gentle tone now kulfi wala asked that how many kulfis does she require now she makes calculation in her mind okay first she adds the family member their father mother and a little brother mamma and papa will have a kulfi each bablu two will have one she works the math on a finger she is quick and lean 2 plus 1 make 
3 times 5 is 15. So first C adds the number of her family member and she multiplies that number with the actual price of Kulfi. So when 3 will be multiplied by 5 it will make 15. Nani will lie and say, no kulfi for me today. But Nani becomes a thief at night, licks one with full delight. Kaka asks, so how many kulfi does it does that make? So now she thinks about her grandmother, who usually doesn't like uh, kulfi, but at night she becomes a thief. Here the word thief means she also likes to have uh, kulfi at any cost. And she feels tempted. So finally she added her grandmother also. Now she added one more number. So now again Kaka asks how many kulfis does that make? She thinks some more. 3 and 1 makes it 4. 5 times 4 is 20. Now she added her grandmother also. So now the final number of kulfi is 4. And when it is multiplied by the actual price of Kulfi, it will make 20. But what about you? Kaka laughs. I forgot about me. I need a Kulfi too. Here the price of 5 will be 25. So she forgets to count her name. So when got reminded, she added her name also. And now there should be 5 Kulfis. And the price will be 25. Just as a spying crow in the summer heat flies away with Bhavri Street. So now the story comes to the middle. Okay. And here in the middle of the story we find that the hero and the main character of the story faces a problem. So here a problem comes and it was created by crow. A spying crow snatched her treat. Here treat means her delight, her happiness. Okay. The crow here is addressed as spying crow. That means the crow was secretly looking at her. Had those 25 bucks. Bhavri is crushed. Very sad. Now this is the climax of the story. Now we feel that Bhavri becomes quite sad. She becomes quite disappointed. She feels broken. Okay. Because she had only 25 bucks. Bucks here means rupee. Kaka says, here take this, a kulfi for free. This lights her up, our dear Bhauri. So now Kaka offers a free kulfi to Bhauri. And in this way, this problem comes to an end. Then off he goes. Children await their Kulfi does. Now, Kulfi Kaka leaves the street because other children were waiting for him. So now let's understand the structure of the story with the help of this picture. So in the beginning of the story, we saw that Bhauri was waiting for Kulfi Kaka. Suddenly, string sound comes, something happens and she rushes to him to take Kulfi. Okay, now the story goes upward. So in the middle of the story, we see that a crow comes and it takes her kulfi. So this was the problem created by the crow. Now this point is also called climax. Now the story comes downwards and finally the problem was solved by kulfi wala. Okay. So in this way we can say that the story has a beginning, a middle and an end. So now I will ask you a few questions. Are you ready to answer them? The first is name the main characters of the story. So can you tell me who is the main character in the story? Bhavri, yes. Bhavri is the main character in this story. Okay, there are many characters but <clears throat> three and four of them are quite passive. So there are 
three characters who are playing role in the story bhavri kulfi kaka and one more who brings a turn in the story what is that yeah that is a crow crow is also a character in the story who created a problem in the story okay so now the next question describe bhavri so you have to give few words few describing words for the main character that was bhavri how was she so according to me she was a kind girl she was very caring she was very <coughs> loving and <coughs> she was a small girl so we can say that she was kind she was little and can you give other adjective she was wise yes she added all the numbers she made all calculation on her fingers this this showed that she was quite intelligent and wise girl so i think you have understood the main structure and the uh, five element of the story with the help of this beautiful story